My eyes are so puffy. I am tired. I got a whopper of a pimple right here, but I got my Freddy Krueger cup coffee. And as a great man once said, it's showtime. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel and at the moment it is 10 past 5 in the morning. I am an early riser, I usually wake up around this time anyway. And as of a couple of hours ago, the new trailer for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice has just dropped. A few months ago we had the teaser trailer, I thought it was a Cracker Jack teaser trailer. Proper way to do a teaser trailer, didn't really give much away but also just left it salivating. Left it? But now we have a full first trailer. I'm very keen to check this out. Uh, keen to see if they uh, address any more about Jeffrey Jones' character, his, his absence in the film for obvious reasons. If we're gonna see Willem Dafoe or Justin Theroux as well. We saw a glimpse of Justin Theroux in the teaser trailer. But like, obviously, I just wanna see the main man, Michael Keaton, back in action. Just doing his thing, being Beetlejuice, but at the same time, not giving too much away and not giving too much away in regards to the plot. So usually with my trailer reactions, I'll react to the trailer and then just quickly check it out. But also I want to go back over the trailer and just talk about anything that jumps out to me or anything in particular that I want to touch on. Now there's probably going to be a shitload of Easter eggs in this trailer that I'm going to miss right off the bat. And you can rely on those videos later that come out that dissect every little bit, things you missed. And I don't know how the hell they pick them up so quickly. Like pretty damn good. It's impressive. Did I think we needed a sequel to Beetlejuice? Probably like a year or two after the first one came out. Not all these years later in 2024. But again, that teaser trailer gave me a lot of hope. And it is, next to Deadpool 3, my most anticipated film of 2024. Alright guys, without further ado, the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice trailer. Here's a preview. Be warned. It's intense. Okay, I'm sorry to stop first off, but I love that, that she's like breaking the fourth wall even though this probably won't be in the movie, but this is just, this is just very quirky and I like it. This is wicked. Ah, he's back. <laughs> Thirty more. <laughs> All right, hell yeah, man. I one thing that like really stood out to me, the stop motion, the stop motion animation of the sandworm, the Beetlejuice sandworm. Someone, I saw in a comment somewhere yesterday, they're like, I've seen the trailer, got a briefing on it, da da da. And he said the use of practical and stop motion in it is quite impressive. Not just obviously the trailer, but the film itself, Timber, and really 
wanted to put an emphasis on going back to practical like the original film. I was thoroughly impressed with that, man. It, it How long was it? Two minutes and 55? Was that two minutes 55? Where? Hang on. Two minutes 19. My screen recording is 255, but the actual trailer is two minutes 19. That's a nice, neat, tight little trailer. Again, it gives you a bit more, but at the same time, doesn't give really anything away. I do love at the end that interaction with Justin Thoreau and you see Beetlejuice in that cardigan. Remember all those months ago, I shared that photo of him in that cardigan with the truth serum injection in Justin Thoreau's neck and Warner Brothers is like, no. But I do like at the beginning when Lydia is addressing the audiences, it kind of like plays catch up. It addresses that Jeffrey Jones, her, her, her dad or grandfather, Astrid's grandfather is dead. Wonder if we'll know why. I highly doubt it's the real life reason because that's just, that's just sick. And when I see the house like this, this is a very stupid question. Is this because they're in mourning? Because like if they're getting the place fumigated, that's not going to be very effective. So I'm assuming this is because they're mourning for dad slash grandpa. I don't know. <laughs> I love on his desk. He's obviously got a photo of Lydia, but he's got his cup. World's best boss. See, even his Rubik's Cube is black and white, like his suit. Just little things like that. I love it. And like I said in my teaser trailer reaction video, Michael Keaton hasn't missed a beat. You hear a few more extra lines from him this time around, but he has not missed a beat. He's still got that energy. He's just got that. He's got the juice. Now, this is like the shittiest little nitpick, but it, I just saw it when I was like scrubbing through the trailer. Look at this shot here. You can see he's like real skin color in his ear there where they forgot to like fill it in with makeup. Oops. But there's like a subway sequence where it looks like the train's coming to pick up some of the dead. I love the costumes. It just, it has that feel of the original, just wacky, but also grim and macabre at the same time. I love it. I totally forgot Monica Bellucci was in this. Like I remember when I first discovered her in the Matrix Reloaded when I was young and it was a discovery and a half. And the, <laughs> the shrunken head guy's back. Hopefully that's the same guy, the hunter from the first one. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of shrunken head people in this one. They're all in the call center there. And there you have it, guys. The trailer for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Thoroughly impressed. That's how you do a trailer, as well as how you do a teaser trailer all those months ago. Again, gave us a bit more, but doesn't give too much away in terms of what's going to go down and just doesn't give away too much of the screen time of Beetlejuice. Again, Michael Keaton hasn't missed a beat. It's good to see the original cast back, the original band back. It's good to see Willem Dafoe finally in action in this. Just makes sense. Like he's, I don't know. There's just something about him. He just screams Beetlejuice for some reason. I don't know why. When he was cast, I'm like, that makes sense. Love you guts. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>